everyone and welcome. Thank you for joining the virtual Meet the Grad event for the Marshall School of Skilled Trades and Apprenticeship. My name is Wendy Mackey and I'm the Director of Alumni Relations at Mohawk College. It is my pleasure to be your host and to guide you through the different sessions and resources available on the virtual Meet the Grad event page. Meet the Grad is a long-standing event at Mohawk that has provided a great opportunity for students to build connections with graduates working in their field of study, to learn about the current sector trends, and to network with employers. As you can see, we're doing things just a little bit differently this year. While we are not able to meet in person, we hope you enjoy hearing from Mohawk alumni and industry professionals and learning about local businesses that hire Mohawk graduates. This year's Meet the Grad event is hosted in partnership with Alumni Relations, Student and Graduate Employment, Co-op, and Mohawk faculty at the Marshall School of Skilled Trades and Apprenticeship. Before we begin, even though you are joining us from your home, we are virtually gathered at Mohawk College, and it's important for us to remember and to acknowledge that Mohawk College is situated on the traditional territory of the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabeg Nations with lands protected by the Dish with One Spoon Wampum Agreement and is currently home to many Indigenous people from across Turtle Island. Today, we will begin with remarks from our keynote speaker, followed by a panel discussion featuring alumni and industry professionals from across different sectors of the skilled trades. You will have an opportunity to attend an information session by Surge, Mohawk's resource hub for entrepreneurs. And don't forget to also check out the featured employers and contacts highlighted on this virtual Meet the Grad event page. We are very fortunate to have a number of Mohawk graduates and industry professionals with us today. It is now my pleasure to introduce our alumni keynote speaker, Brad Arnold. Brad Arnold is president of Hickory Dickory Decks, the largest deck company in Canada. Brad began his journey with the company in 1997 in a sales and carpentry assistant role. He then went on to complete his general carpentry apprenticeship at Mohawk College and received his Red Seal certificate in 2002. Following this, Brad obtained his building code identification number, which allows him to prepare and sign permit drawings for submission to the city. Throughout his career at Hickory Dickory Decks, Brad has been promoted to sales manager, vice president, and in 2018, began his current role as president. He is now part owner of the company and owner of the Hamilton Mountain franchise. Brad, we are thrilled to have you share your career journey with students today. Without further ado, I pass the microphone over to you. Thanks very much. That was uh, quite the introduction. I don't know if you can see, I might be blushing a little bit, but uh... Wow, that took away a little bit of my speech now this this season. Thank you, Wendy, very much. Thanks so much to uh, Moa College, uh, you know, for all they've done for me in the past, and thank you for inviting me today to do this speech. Uh, yeah, life's a little different with uh, with COVID. Uh, I've attended many of these uh, events with Meet the Meet the Contractor, Meet the Grad, uh, recruiting events, etc. And uh, of course, with with COVID, things are done a little differently. And I'm coming to you uh, coming to you live from my from my uh, dining room here with my family photos in the background and such. So hopefully this goes pretty well. Um, I'm usually pretty good more of it as a uh, uh, off the cuff kind of guy, but I do have a bit of a script. So hopefully, hopefully it goes well. Uh, it's interesting, you know, I, I know for everyone, whether it be faculty, staff and, and students there at Moat College, and of course the rest of the world with this pandemic that we're all in, you know, how things have changed uh, and how it's really changed the way we operate in, in the world and in the business world, the education world, wherever it might be. Um, and with uh, with myself, as Wendy mentioned, I, I am the president of Hickory Dickory Decks, and yes, we are the biggest deck company in Canada. So check us out. And if you're if you're a good carpenter or architectural technology person or a civ eng, maybe, maybe drop us a line. But uh, anyway, um, you know, when this happened last year, we were having our kickoff meeting with all of our, our franchisees. We've been franchising for over over 20 years. So to give you an idea, we're in over 60, or pardon me, over 70 cities here in the province of Ontario. Uh, we are, we have now three, uh, almost four locations in the province of Alberta, and there are now two locations in the province of Nova Scotia. So we're working our way across the country. But uh, when this happened last year, you know, we're having our conference and then, you know, the world changed, of course, and we didn't know what to do. We thought maybe, well, we're, we're going to be in trouble since we're outdoors and people aren't going to have that extra, you know, money or whichever. Everyone's going to be nervous to spend money. Well, 
lo and behold, anybody that was in the outdoor business in the trades, especially carpentry, uh, we did fantastic. It was, uh, you know, we were locked down till the end of April approximately. Uh, and then once everything opened up again, the, the floodgates opened and people were able to invest some money in their homes, the money they weren't maybe spending on traveling or, or, uh, or cruises. I had a number of people that literally said, you know, they gave me a check and said, this is our cruise money. We're no longer going on a cruise. So let's build a deck, right? Which, you know, it was amazing. And so ourselves and, and pool guys and renovators and, you know, many of the people that I know from uh, Mohawk College in my time, you know, we were quite busy and uh, to be honest with you, it's looking very much the same for this year. Uh, so in saying that, you know, being welcomed here to this Mohawk College uh, event, um, I never realized this is the path I was going to take. When I was in uh, high school, I was a uh, directed towards engineering. So I actually went to McMaster University uh, for engineering to start and then, uh, you know, went through that and it wasn't really for me. So I got into sales. And then once I got into sales, I started back in 1997 with, with Hickory Dickory Dex. And as Wendy said, kind of worked my way through and I got into carpentry and just fell in love with the trade. Uh, and fell in love with the, you know, the ability to create things and design things, etc. So, you know, Mohawk College really, when I went to my apprenticeship program there, uh, I met a gentleman, he's still there, he's one of the uh, main guys in the carpentry program, Jeff Achuka Farrell, fantastic guy. So if anybody's got him as a teacher, you need to make sure you take care of him. Um, little hit, I think once in a while he puts it on his test. I know when he did when I was there, one of the questions was spell his last name. That was, that was a tough one, but anyways. Worked out well for me. I think I got it. But anyway, great guy. Um, and we're still friends to this day. So, you know, I graduated in, in 2002. And that connection is still alive, along with many other connections at Mohawk College. Uh, Brad McDonald down there at Mohawk College in the trades at the Marshall School there. Uh, I think, I believe anyways, he started the very first sort of meet the grad thing or it was a, a, quite an event down there at the, at the school. And um, I met many students there, but I also met a number of other grads who ran businesses there. And I still have connections to those people to this day, uh, never mind some of my classmates as well. So Moa College has been, you know, a part of me, uh, you know, since that 2000, well, I guess I would have started school in 99 or 2000, whichever that was, and then, you know, finished up in 2002. So, and I live just down the street, which is pretty funny. I live on West 5th, so I'm near the West 5th campus, which uh, I drive by all the time. And it always feels good to see that sign, I must admit, and see all the, all the improvements that they've done there. You know that connection to the college is is very strong, and and you know as I as I move through my uh, positions here at Hickory Dickory Dex, I really appreciated you know that connection, and then really started to realize that you know we could we could you know recruit from that college, but also with my license, uh, my Red Seal license, I was able to sponsor a number of uh, young people. Uh, to go through and do the same thing I did and go through the apprenticeship program and meet Jeff and the gang and become Red Seal Carpenters themselves, you know, and that was, a, you know, as much as a, it was a pride thing for me to be able to, you know, sponsor someone and see how they would progress and get to somewhere. Uh, but it really opened up uh, career paths for them as well. And now they're thriving as, you know, not, not all of them stayed with my company, but a number of them have. A few of them are franchisees now. I mean, it's just worked out fantastic, that connection to that. Um, and then going from there, we really started recruiting um, other positions too. So from the Civ Eng and the architectural programs, um, we started recruiting people to come in and be more of our drawing uh, of all of our AutoCAD and such. So doing all the, the permit drawings and everything in the background, along with a bit of sales, along with a bit of building. Um, and those recruits have been just outstanding. We have a number that are still with us and we recruit quite often. And a couple of them have gone on from being under my wing um, with my BCIN, I was not only running a lot of the carpenters and then eventually running the, the, all the building from our office, but I did run the building permit process from there and I still do. So hiring those people, they're really my right hand person to do all of our drawings. And the idea was, you know, I'm a sports fan, so hopefully some of you are out there, but I believe in that farm system. And so, you know, you, you got to start somewhere and you get that farm system and then they move on to bigger and greater things and that nothing more satisfying than, than to see that happen. So, you know, and to feel that uh, reconnection back to the college and, you know, that, uh, that old sense of giving back, right? That the college helped me and now I can help uh, other people and that college just helps others and it just keeps rolling. Um, you know, and that great sense of helping people develop, but also as a business person. So, you know, as that business person out there, you know, by being able to have that connection, you know, we're able to recruit fantastic, uh, uh, fantastic candidates, fantastic teammates uh, that can really add to my business. And when it adds to my business, that person, you know, I'm always looking for those win-win situations. I and mean, if I can hire somebody that's a good person, and of course they're learning, 
and they're progressing and they're getting better in what they do, well, they're still making us money at the same time. And, you know, you're going to go back and forth and eventually they're going to have a better position and, and move on and on and, and those connections to grow. Um, um, from there to the co-op program here at the college, if anybody out there, if you're students and graduates or, or I guess students, sorry, that are still there, if you can get in that co-op program or if you know people that want to get into the, the, the school and you can get into some sort of co-op problem or program, pardon me, or something, um, man, what, a, what an advantage that can make just to be able to get out and uh, be in the field. Uh, meet people, you know, make connections, which I'm going to get back to that in a moment as far as connections go, but, you know, it, it really makes a difference. So uh, my first young man, his name was Joel, we kind of, we kind of made ourselves a co-op uh, uh, placement program. I had to call in and make sure it worked, but it was all good. Uh, and then my most recent was, his name was Murray and he's out in, um, he moved out to Vancouver, but him and I still keep connected. And anyways, it, 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 it really works. But as far as, you know, some of the advice uh, I can give to some of the students that are out there, you know, we, we sometimes takes for, we take for granted, you know, what, what's in front of us on a daily basis, right? And then you, you always look back and say, ooh, I should have, or ooh, those were the good old days, or man, I wish I would have, all those, all those good things that we say. And sometimes the best things are right in front of you. You know, um, when I was at school and I was lucky, you know, you, know, it's, you, won't, you may not believe this or not, but I was a pretty shy kid when I was... Uh, you know, school and high school and even in a little bit in the university and I realized I had to conquer that and I've been working on it ever since. But when I was in school at Mohawk, I just really wanted to make sure that I, I met people and, and made those connections. And as I mentioned, those connections are still there to this day um, and the knowledge of how to make those connections and, and, you know, and take care of people. And, you know, I, they can ask me questions, I ask them, you know, and every time I see the Mohawk logo, it's like, oh, I know somebody, I can talk to that person. And uh, it works out very well. It gives me a great satisfaction. And of course it helps you know, other people continue on into their careers. Uh, I've also had many people, you know, if anybody out there is more of a business person that's listening to us or listening to me, um, you know, some people have that hard thing of hiring and, you know, if I, if I hire somebody, they're just going to quit. Or if I hire somebody, you know, all that good stuff. And that happens, of course, but, you know, maybe look at yourself first and what kind of boss are you and are you doing a good job as a boss? Because I can tell you right now, you're, you may not be. And, you know, to be able to recruit young people, and provide a, a, a healthy environment for them to be able to, um, you know, develop and learn and keep you young, by the way, and to keep things moving, you know, because, you know, I'm getting pretty good at computers. I never took computers, but all the young people around me, I have to be good at computers because if I'm not, it's like, oh, here comes the old man again, right? So you have to, you got to stay on top of these things. Um, but anyways, it keeps you, it keeps you young uh, and it keeps you part of that community. Uh, attending these events, for example, so for the students or graduates alike, you know, if they're offering these, these, these programs and these services, you know, to take advantage of these meet the grads or the, you know, meet the contractor nights or whatever it might be, uh, whether it be like this, of course, because of COVID where it's virtual, or eventually, of course, we hope anyways, that we'll be able to do this in person. You know, uh, I think you need to take advantage of these because if you just want to sit home and wait for it to come to you, it's not going to come to you. You got to get up and go get it uh, and, and work at it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, like I said, I've been doing this for quite some time um, with Moa College, and I've really appreciated it. And really appreciated, you know, Wendy yourself. Of course, you're, you're the you're the, the big cheese there at the alumni. But um, uh, you know, keeping the alumni informed and, and allowing us to do things like this, and, and sponsoring and making these events. I mean, hats off to you guys. I know it's a lot of work, um, but they work. It's a it's a great program, uh, and we really really appreciate appreciate it. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I don't want to have lots of time, so I don't want to take up everybody's uh, too much of their evening. And I know if it's too long, no one's going to watch a YouTube video that's too long. I mean, anything over in 45 seconds, I think no one watches anymore. But anyways, um, you know, just just to really, you know, um, I want to thank Moa College, first of all, and thank Wendy and everybody else. I want to thank Brad. I want to thank Jeff for everything they've done for me in the past. Uh, Trent, who is our, uh, our co-op uh, liaison there at the college. Uh, and there's so many, uh, obviously Lynn and Lindsay today, but um, you know, everything that's happened over the years uh, has been, you know, not necessarily all because of Moa College, but many doors are open because of Moa College for me. And many doors continue to open because of Moa College um, and helped in my success. You know, you don't be the guy that comes from just being a salesperson slash uh, carpenter's helper to the president and knowing part of the company without having some sort of help along the way and some sort of guidance. And I want to say that Moa College was a, a good portion of that guidance that was in there and along with those connections that we were able to establish. Excuse me. Um, 
And last couple things to say here, you know, um, business is an interesting world. Um, education, of course, is also an interesting world and everything's changed. Uh, and it's changed for the better. You know, I always, I have four children myself. They're all, they're all big now. And I got two grandkids, which is uh, just awesome. And then I'll start with grandkids next time. But anyways, it is, uh, it's so fun. Um, but my one kind of rule I have here at the house is education never stops. So you want to continue to do whatever you can do to learn things. I don't, I don't care if it's, you know, I got to learn bits and pieces on, on the computer, you know, even in, well, today's day, like I, I never did a zoom meeting up until this, you know, last whatever, it's eight months or whatever it is, or a go-to meeting or whatever, nobody did that sort of stuff. So, you know, being able to learn how to do that, being able to, in our system, you know, recruit and do different things over the web, even sales, a lot of our sales are now over the web, but, you know, continuing to learn, continuing to, to give back uh, and to really appreciate, you know, where you come from and then really strive to where you're going. But um, and once again, I want to say thanks to everyone. I want everyone to stay safe, of course, uh, work hard. And of course, at the end of the day, you got to have fun. But uh, thanks very much, Wendy. And I thank you everyone for your time today. And hopefully it was uh, not such a bad video to watch. Thank you so much, Brad. It's wonderful to hear how Mohawk helped to launch your career and what actions you found to be helpful after graduation. We appreciate your connection, uh, the lifelong connection that you've had with the college and your ongoing support of our students and our recent grads. And we look forward to staying connected in the future. At this time, I invite our participants to visit the next video to watch the Skilled Trades and Apprenticeship Alumni and Industry Panel. And before we close, I want to extend a big thank you to all of our guest speakers and organizers of our virtual Meet the Grad event. This event it would not be possible without their support. I would once again like to thank all the students and recent graduates joining us today. We hope you enjoy exploring the videos and the resources that we've developed for you. Take good care. <laughs>